Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to look at the most important changes and features that Microsoft is rolling out on Windows 11, build 22635.4225 in the beta channel and build 26120.1843 through the dev channel. The preview build and the beta channel is part of the version 23H2 development, while the preview and the dev channel is part of version 24H2 development. So how Microsoft will roll out these features once you're ready, that it is still unclear. Okay, let's dive into these two new previews for Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Now, first, let's look at the changes that are more specific to the beta channel. And in this release, we're going to find some interesting improvements. For example, now if we go to the settings app, more specifically to the text input page, we are going to notice that Microsoft is adding a new customized Copilot key on keyboard setting. And this setting allows you to remap the physical Copilot key on new keyboards. And the options available are to use that button for search and to select a custom app that when you press that key, the system will launch. So when you select that, you should be able to see a list of the apps that you can launch with the Copilot key. However, it's interesting to see that Microsoft is not allowing you to set that key to open the start menu, which was the original action before that key became the Copilot key. Now let's step back and for a second, let's talk about why we have this new setting to customize the Copilot key on Windows 11. So the strategy originally was to promote Copilot. And so Microsoft talked to manufacturers and even on Surface devices, the company started adding the Copilot key on the keyboard for easy access to Copilot. The AI was supposed to be part of the operating system. And then the company decided to approach AI in a different way and actually remove Copilot from the operating system and only added the Copilot app that actually is a web app, as you can see right here, that connects to the Copilot in the cloud. So everything you type here, it's actually, it's happening in the cloud. So nothing happens locally. So when Microsoft added, so when Microsoft added this app and removed the side panel, the company also removed the ability to open the AI with the dedicated Copilot key. And they left that button and the keyboard without any specific functionality. And I think that that's the reason why we have now that option. Otherwise, it will have to like recall those devices and replace them with one that doesn't have the, the Copilot key. And I'm pretty sure that that was a little more expensive and they didn't want to do it. So they added this option so you can customize that Copilot key to anything you want. Now, let's open File Explorer because on this update, there are a few changes. For example, in the home page, you will now notice that the company is updating the design for the resin favorites and share tabs. And now they have a more button-like design, as you can see it right here. And actually the color accent will change when you change the color accent on the system. So let's open the settings app and let's go to colors and let's switch to something else. And as you can see, the color changes with the accent color setting. I also want to point out that this version of File Explorer is now also available in the dev channel and includes all the same changes. So you're going to see the same design and you're also going to see the share tab that allows you to see the files that were shared with you. And if you're using a Microsoft Entra ID, you will also see comments when people share files with you. Now on Windows 11 build 22,635.4225, the company continues the work to integrate your mobile device into the operating system. So one thing that they're doing in this particular release is adding the ability to send files to your phone directly with this new send to my phone option. Of course, in order to have this option, you need to have your Android phone already connected to the computer using the phone link app. Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on Microsoft continue integrating your phone more deeply into the operating system. 
Now I'm going to dive into the changes that Microsoft is adding into the dev channel on build 26120 that 1143. Now, most of these changes are already available in the beta channel. So, okay, first let's look at the start menu because now the company is updating the account manager menu and it is making it easier to find some of the options. For example, now the sign out option, it's right here on the first screen for the account manager before you needed to open the more options menu. In this menu, the company is now listing the other users already configured in your computer that you can switch to. Before, you only have the option to sign out and to switch users, but that switch users will take you to the lock screen so you can choose the user to sign in. And now this update makes it easier to switch users and sign out from your computer. And again, this feature is available in the beta channel and it is also available on the dev channel. Also for the dev channel, if you right click an app on the start menu, you're going to have support for jump list. This was also available on other builds, but now it's coming to the dev channel. Now, Microsoft is also updating the search experience. So if we look for a file, we are now going to find an option to share that specific file right from this menu. Now for the update in the dev channel, Microsoft is updating the lock screen. So it will now show media controls, as you can see right here, when you're playing videos or audio. As you can see, we get a little thumbnail, part of the name of what's playing and the options to go previous and next. Also in the dev channel, you can now show a shorter version of the time and date, as you can see it right here. And that option is available through the time and language section in the settings app. And the option that Microsoft is updating is this one. And from here, if you check this option, you're going to see a shorter version of the time and date that actually removes the, the AM and PM from the time and the date. It will only show month and date. The year will not be shown. And also the company is moving the options to show seconds right here under this setting. Now on the settings app, if we go to Bluetooth and devices, and then we go to the touch page, we are going to find that now for devices enroll in the channel, you're going to find an option that allows you to enable and disable the swipe for the left edge of the screen and the right edge of the screen. From here, if we go to system and then we go to notifications, we're going to find that Windows is adding an option that allows you to disable notification suggestions. Then if we go to Windows Update and then we go to deliver optimization, I have shown you this before on other preview builds of Windows 11, but now on the dev channel, the company is also updating the delivery optimization settings. You're not going to find new options. However, all the settings are consolidated in one place. So now you don't have to go to different pages for uploads and downloads and to access the activity monitor. So you can do it all from one place. And the settings now matches the design language of Windows 11. Now, the last two improvements that I want to show you are specific to the dev channel. And even though they are not available in the beta channel, they are available on other channels from the Windows Insider preview. Okay, the uh, first update that I wanted to show you was regarding the Windows Sunbox feature. However, I was trying to get Sunbox enabled on the dev channel. And for some reason, the, the operating system wasn't responding to that. So I remember that the same feature is also available in the Canary channel. So I'm just going to show you really quick that now that we have Windows Sandbox running on this computer, what Microsoft is doing moving forward, it is updating the feature through the Microsoft store. And now we're going to find a menu with different features that now this virtualization feature supports. For example, now it supports clipboard redirection. And now you can also pass through the audio and video inputs. And you can also share folders with the Windows Sandbox experience. And you even have an option to use 
the experience and full screen. Now, while in this preview, I also wanted to show you that another change that Microsoft is adding to the dev channel is a new UI change for when sharing your internet connection with other people. And now if we go to network and internet and then we go to Wi-Fi and then when you try to share the password for a connection, you're going to notice that the interface has been updated to match more closely with the design language of Windows 11. And that's it. Those were the most significant changes that you're going to find on Windows 11 build 26,120-1843 on the dev channel and on build 22,635 that 4225 in the beta channel. Let me know in the comments what you think about these changes and don't forget to like the video, share it, and I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.